Hey. Okay, now I can, ha -ha. I can see me, but I can't see. So, there oh, are. there you are. There you are. I Jeez see you. Louise, ya. man. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I don't remember why the hell we met. Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Let's kick the new format in place. Do you want to try sure. the new format? Um, sure. So for the audience tonight, we, uh, we, Kenny and I are going to try something new. Uh, and you're going to tell us if you love it or not. But we think you're going to love it. We're going to um, test two things tonight. So um, one is we're, we're going to talk about like something happening in the industry. Uh, hopefully it makes you a little bit smarter um, next week. Um, you know, when you listen to this and then, and then that means, you know, for the week, you've got kind of a relevant topic to talk around the water cooler. If people still hang around water coolers or, uh, if you're hanging around other, um, you know, other retailers or, or retail oriented people, hopefully everybody listened to our podcast and you can all talk about the same issues. Um, and then the second topic that we'll tackle tonight is something for small businesses. Um, so I think the, um, kind of thing happening in the industry was an article that I think you and I uh, both kind of landed on uh, around loyalty and um, paid loyalty program? paid loyalty programs. Yeah, you basically signed up, which I, I'll tell you why I posted it. Yeah. Like, I was super intrigued because the coffee bar is yeah. sort of a classic example of, I mean, if people don't know, I own the coffee bar and the coffee bar in Vancouver is on Commercial Drive, which is uh, part of Little Italy. So on our street that might be 12 blocks long, there's probably 20 coffee shops, right? I mean, it, I mean, we're talking massive density of coffee shops. Yeah. And what you're trying to, you know, and Vancouver's already got a coffee culture that's, you know, Toronto yeah. is 10 years still catching up. Yep. I mean, our coffee culture in the city is insane. Yeah. So our street has 20 coffee shops, and then the city probably has 10,000. I mean, there's coffee shops everywhere, and mostly independents. Yeah. Mostly independents, right? But I'm trying to figure out how do we, you know, how do you do loyalty outside of a normal stupid loyalty card that to, like we all do with coffee? You know, you get the 10th and you get one free. Like, who cares? Yeah. yeah, who cares? And can you imagine if I could get someone to pay to be part of yeah. the coffee bar loyalty program, whatever that is? Like, I just thought, I just, my head just started spinning when I read that article. So I'm thinking. I, I like it. So, so the, so for the listeners, the article we're talking about is uh, was posted by the retail prophet uh, Doug Stevens, and the and the title is called "Why Paid Memberships Are the New Loyalty." So he talks about how exactly what Kenny's talking about, like this coffee card idea of like, you know, bring the coffee card in and you buy ten coffees and you get the next one free, isn't really compelling. Um, where the kind of new loyalty goes is is to a membership program, and and um, he kind of talks about um, Amazon Prime, uh, and then I think the other one was Sephora, right? Sephora uh, and Costco. Well, I think yeah. Restoration, uh, um, not Restoration Hardware. Oh, Restoration Hardware. Maybe it was them too. Restoration Hardware. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Costco is always a classic. We Costco, we've always used. Yeah. But Costco's claim to fame wasn't just the fact that you bought into the loyalty. They had a whole price structure that was also yeah. attractive yeah. and good for businesses. Amazon's is a little more yeah. intriguing. You pay 99 bucks, but you get your free shipping. Yeah. You know, you get, you get some movies, you get some TVs. Yeah, you get some cool shit going like, on, right? It's, yeah. it's not just price. There's yeah. there's other stuff happening. Yeah. 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 But and I'm, so, so it's kind of neat, right? Like, yeah. I, I'm with you. Like, I think. Uh, and I think I think he's got it right. Like I I think that um, it's got to be it's got to be deeper. I mean, even the the bigger programs, right? Like the um, Optimum that's now rolled into PC points, and you know the U.S. had a Macy's. Like Macy's has a loyalty card. They don't do they don't do a lot, right? Like they don't inspire loyalty. It just means that you got to keep track of another card or another barcode or another something. Um, yeah, I mean, a uh, paid membership. I I don't know what that means. Like, could you do? Could you do a paid membership so that you preempt the Uber Eats of the world? So could you do one where um, I don't know, like you pay ten bucks and 
there's a fast lane for coffee drinkers. Like, so um, you get some of that kind of like, uh, like the American Express um, front of the line type of stuff. You can. I don't. The challenge. I, I mean, I think Starbucks is even walking away from their. Uh, but you pre-book the coffee. The problem yeah. with coffee is, like in a coffee shop like ours, you have two people working. Yeah. One person's on the bar. One person's doing. Um, yeah. Making transactions. Yeah. For service. I can't make. I can't. I can. I can't make an espresso any faster than an espresso can be made. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you coming in, and this is where Starbucks, I think, was having the challenge. You order your your coffee ten minutes ago. Well, I'm not making it ten minutes ago. Yeah. I'm making it when you come in. Yeah. Otherwise, it's now, no good. I don't have a yeah. dedicated machine and a dedicated yeah. line for you. Yeah. I got to tell the person in front. Listen, the guy ordered ten minutes, and look yeah. at me. Because who gives a shit? Yeah. I've been here. I don't give a shit when this guy ordered ten yeah. years ago. It's not my problem. I'm standing yeah. in front of the line. I want my coffee. Yeah. You can't do that with espresso or things yeah. like that. You got to, you know, they're meant to be now. Yeah. yeah. So I, I agree. I was trying to figure that out. Okay. I don't mm-hmm. think that works too good. Can you Uber a coffee? Because we looked at it too. We want to do maybe do skip the dishes. Mm-hmm. You guys have that in Toronto yep, soon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I thought, okay, let's, how about that? And then we thought, again, I can make it as soon as the skip the dish person gets there. But if it's a 10, a 10 latte order, the first latte is going to be at least six minutes old by the time the tenth one is done. Yeah. And then there's another ten minute drive. I mean, yeah. It's not yeah. the same anymore, right? No. <clears throat> hmm. So what I was wondering is there a way to do um, maybe play in the prime game where it's more um, um, not just dollars off, like you know, two bags of coffee, you get five dollars yeah. off. Maybe yeah. it's a gift card back into the bar. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe it's, um, I mean, I've noodled it around and I actually pitched it to, um, one of the majors in town saying, listen, you want to have an experience. Why don't you give your coffee drinkers, if they're loyal to you as a company and particularly if they're loyal to me as a brand, well, my brand has a coffee bar. Do you want to do a barista for an hour? Right. I could have you come in and I can train you with one of the baristas and maybe you could fart around the bar for an hour yeah. and that the experience that you yeah. that you get you to, you know the barista for an hour kind yeah. of thing yeah yeah I don't know I don't know what what the hook would be in in our environment <clears throat> well I mean what do you uh, probably a couple of different crowds right like you've got you've got the kind of the you've got the coffee lover crowd they're gonna we come got, to, we got coffee lover yeah they're going to come to the pure love of the beans, right? So, exactly. Yeah. We've got people that come in because they just like the space and, you know, it's a social gathering. Yeah. You know as well as our, our bar is uh, licensed, which you got to be careful how you play yeah. that one. Yeah. But our bar, um, we, we, get, we give up the bar if someone really wants to come in and uh, use it for a birthday party or like yeah. Wednesday nights we have a, um, a local girl does a comedy night, which is yeah. fantastic. That's amazing. And, she does a, the free night that she yeah. does in the city. This, I think this thing's going to explode. It's called Story Story Lie. So anybody who's listening, go on to Facebook or online, Story Story Lie. Her name is Joe. She's fantastic. Yeah. But she has a paid event in Vancouver, but Wednesday yeah. night in our bar is the free event. Yeah. And we give her the space. We don't charge her anything because I, I just like her. It's just neat, right? But maybe that's some of the things we could do is maybe we give the space up periodically or allow you to close them. I don't know what it is. I'm trying to, you know what though? So that's a neat one because if you can make a draw of it, do you turn the membership thing into a front of the line for people like that? So if she's coming in to do comedy, if you're a paid member, do do you get in, do you get into that first? Right? So, you know, you don't line up or you, or you're only competing with other people who are members um, cause you also have like local artists, right. That do stuff in yeah. the bar. And yeah. so now you could create a bunch of it. Like maybe every Wednesday you've got something going on where if you're a member at the bar, you get it in the $10 you would get it yeah. for. Yeah. Right. Right. And like you get in. So, so like everyone else who wants to come in on that night, they got to wait, right. Because the members get in first, the members get seats first, you know, all that kind of stuff. Huh. That'd be kind of neat. Ooh, you know it'd be really neat if you've got a local chef who's willing to do like tapas 
Um, I don't know if you have the kitchen for that or anything like that, but we if they could do, but I, but I could, I could use the commissary at the Grotta if I had to. Right, right, or like a baker, like a local bakery. If they well, we, to we do... have a local baker to surprise it. You know yeah. what? Huh. That might help you local, build a local wine guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe a local beer. Yeah. Maybe more. It's more of a. Um, you know, they just launched a new beer. Let's say. And, you know, you get to try it before anybody else in the yeah. city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I'm writing this all down. So so for <laughs> um, listeners, we're, we're, um, we're not just trying to build Kenny's business up. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. And but, anybody who's got ideas is allowed to come and say whatever they want. Yes, we are. You, you, get, you get early membership right away if you have new ideas that Kenny can use. Exactly. Um, Give me a um, deal. <laughs> but the idea is that what you're doing is um, you're literally tapping into <laughs> what the consumer loves and and what the consumer wants, right? And so by buying in, it puts a responsibility on you, the retailer, to um, create something that the consumer loves and stay relevant to that consumer because they are paying for that experience. And then it ties the consumer to you because now the consumer is paid in. And they want to make sure, you know, as all customers do, that they get ROI for their money. So it's kind of this, um, it's not open-ended. It's it's really kind of a, a commitment game um, to keep you both committed to the same relationship, which is kind of neat. Um, I think that's probably what got us um, both very, very interested in this is um, that kind of sense that you, you need to build loyalty and love is what he says in this article, that... Uh, kind of makes the whole thing work, which is super cool. Yeah, yeah. I like the idea. I do. I, do. I mean, I, and I'll tell you, it's funny. It's that, you know, what would be nice one day is 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 if if we have listeners even are in the lower mainland, it'd be nice one time to do <clears throat> like an event could be. You, you know, we could record in the bar. Yeah. And have our you know our uh, you know bunch of special guests come down. We could yeah. have discussions and oh my God. maybe oh, open up. That. to our, our better, uh, our loyal listener kind of things. Not yeah. right. This is just something cool to do, right? Yeah, yeah, that would be super cool. Be super, super cool. Yeah. No, I like it. I like the. I like all the local stuff. See, that's what the whole bar is supposed to be about, right? Yeah. It's yeah. I, you know, we're on a great street. It's a local feel. I, I, that's the whole point of it is to give it back to. Give it back to the community, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So that's kind of our. That's our. Um, I like the idea. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, I like his article. I, so, I so do. I really like it. Want, yeah. If you don't want to look, if you don't want to hunt, I mean, just go to either your name or my name on LinkedIn. Yeah, I probably posted it last week, so you probably did yeah. too. It's you know, so you don't have to search. Yeah. If you don't want to search, search. Yeah. yeah, yeah. and Ash, you know, we actually do post some interesting things periodically. Yeah. We, we, you know, we talk about stuff. We talk about all sorts of stuff. So sometimes it's worthwhile. Sometimes it's not. <laughs> okay. Not all the time. <laughs> Um, so the um, so the second topic that uh, Kenny and I thought we'd cover for small brands, um, we we think this is particularly relevant. I think uh, this gets us both excited. So it's just uh, we're coming into trade show season. Uh, it's really important for little brands to know one whether you should go or you shouldn't go to trade shows, and then there's just a ton of things around trade shows that you should know. Right, Kenny? Like, there's just like, we're, we're kind of like trade show vets. Um, so y if you have any questions about trade shows, you should ask us. We've probably been to them. We, Between us, we've probably walked a couple of thousand miles um, at oh, shows. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy. Easy. I've done it in, in, just in Canton. Yeah. It, the Chinese fairs have been like, oh, my God. Oh, the Chinese they're, fairs they're are crazy. Today. Yeah, yeah, they're insane. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so probably the biggest thing I think um, first for little brands is is thinking about like you've gotta you've gotta kind of make sure that before you go to a show you do your research figure out the shows that you need to be at and then you need to figure out right if you're ready for a show period yeah hey Kenny like like there's a lot of like you know because it costs a lot to go to shows like an average booth costs you you know somewhere between anywhere from two to four grand I guess um, depends on what show it is. Yeah, in your city, more probably more so than ours. Like, if you did a show in Vancouver, like at a 
a wellness show, a woman's show. Yeah. You could probably get tables between 500 and 1500. Okay. But, but that's still, that's still a lot of money. Yeah. Um, on the, and, and they track different people. If you want to hit a trade show like you're talking about, yeah. If you want to do CHFA maybe, or CFIG or something yeah. like that. Yeah. You could be between two and 10 grand a table Yeah. or booth or whatever you yeah. want to call it. And then you may have to be your member before you do that. So you might have a whole bunch of costs and then you got to make sure is this the, the group that you want to talk to? Like, do you want to talk to consumers or do you want to talk to the trade? Yeah. Right. Because they're two different, they're two different groups of people. Yeah. You know, and you and I these days are probably leaning a lot more to consumer base because as we, um, look at online or, uh, B to C more, uh, intently, it's, it's going to change the model. So I, I, I like to get to the consumer. So consumer shows aren't too bad. I mean, for example, I'm doing the CHFA this weekend for grasshopper. Right. That's a trade show. And then we're doing um, uh, what's uh, the whole we're with tied in with Whole Foods for a show in March. I think it's the wellness show. And that is more of a consumer based show. Right. So there are two different shows, two different price points, two different audiences, two different sales approaches. I mean, they're completely different. Yeah. Yeah. So so if you're you know, if you're if you're kind of tracking this the the thing to know is like so when you're when you're going business to business and you're going to a true trade show like the chfa the canadian food health food association, health, health food association um what you have to be thinking about is you got to have your wholesale prices in line you got to be thinking about volume discounts um it's, it's broker no you know, broker distributor yeah. no distributor direct yeah and then are and you then you're really you could be buying like it's a true buying show right so um, you know, you're going to be making deals there. You're going to be um, brokering relationships or, or trying to figure out what a, a real relationship looks like with a retailer. So definitely a like hands-on all business event. Um, whereas the wellness show, if it's going to be a consumer thing, it's far more about, you know what? Um, like I just, I need to have product there and I need to have the story. Like I need to have the, why is the why did I make the brand and what's so cool about the brand? Because you're going to have consumers who actually consume the product, right? right. So they're they're definitely different preparation processes, um, different selling techniques. Yeah, definitely. If they're just different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But both can be critical depending on your model. Yeah. You know, and this is a game where where you know, hopefully, if you're listening to a show like this or or contacting people like us, as we would try to help you out and say, listen, you know based on your scale or based on your product, yeah. this might be a better angle than this one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And there's a lot of things like even on the trade shows, like you're saying, I mean, a trade show could be three, four, five thousand dollars. You're right. Yeah. But let's say you're um, um, an organically manufactured product in Ontario or British Columbia. Well, both governments do have programs um, through the agricultural ministries where you can potentially um, uh, apply for grants or apply for um, um, cost sharing. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know so about cost sharing. Example, IBC yeah. um, is part of the agricultural ministry in, in uh, British Columbia. What they're trying to do is push our agribusinesses, yeah. right? Um, so we attained some monies for the coffee company and for the crow's nest kitchen, the vinegar, right? And the reason we could do it is obviously we don't grow coffee in Canada. And obviously if you have balsamic vinegar, it's coming from Modena, that's from Italy. Yep. But we do all the manufacturing and packaging here. So we actually employ people in the province directly and indirectly to do stuff like this. So that's why the grant was applicable to us because we are manufacturing here and we're, yeah. we are BC products, yeah. even though the main components may come from elsewhere. Yeah. Once we do so, we applied. Um, and they did, they granted us um, a chunk of change. And what they did is they matched dollar for dollar. Wow. So if I need $20,000 in displayers, yeah. I apply for that, they approve it, they cover 10, I cover 10. Wow. But the That's beauty amazing. of that small business like me is I get a chance. I can't do the displayers on my own. I can't, yeah. I can't come up with 20 grand yeah. just for funsies. Yeah. But 10 I might be able to do. Yeah. Right? Well, and I mean, every, every discount helps, right? Like you're... 
you know, what's important for both sides. It's good yeah. for the government because yeah. we're, we're, we're employing people who are going to pay taxes, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. And, you know, I want my province to do well. Yeah. I mean, we can't sell wine into Alberta anymore, so we got to do something. <laughs> <laughs> got to get that in there sooner or later, right? I know. That one's, yeah, that one's crazy. But, but yeah. you know what I mean? But it is cool. So, there, yeah. so for small businesses out there, you should look into that because there is, whether it's grant money or um, loan money or uh, like cooperative sharing money, there is money out there. Right, and it's not bullshit money. It's not that you know, the, you know, I'm gonna study if a mosquito bites, you know, I don't know, a dog or a cat. Not those stupid things. Like this is, yeah. you know, actually help us who are employing people and contributing and you know trying to do stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I think um, so. I mean, like all of those things matter. Um, I think setting your goals really matter, right? Like you got to think about what do you want to, why do you, do you want to be there, right? What do you want out of the show? Um, it can be as simple as like, you know what, I, I need, I need more orders. Right. And that alone would tell you, you don't, maybe you don't need to be at a consumer show. You need to be at a retailer show, right? Like you need to be right. in the trade where you can get, you can move cases. Right. Um, you know, so well, all you of those things really store, matter. Yeah. If you want to be in the store, don't do, don't do a consumer show. Yeah. You want to be in a store, you do a trade show. Yeah. Cause you want to talk to the trade. So let's say you want to get into uh, London or overweight if you're in, in Vancouver or Western yeah. Canada. Yeah. Well, going to a consumer show is probably not the best way to do it. You no. do the trade show first, yeah. get them excited, hopefully get your listing, find a distributor or broker because yeah. they're all going to be at these shows. Yeah. Then when you go to the consumer show, hey, Phil, you really like this? You can go to yeah. London, Savon, whatever, and purchase product there. So you might have to do both, but again, both are yeah. completely different messages. Yeah. Completely different messages. Yeah. How, um, so. But I do. I'm like, you I'm great oh, uh, I love them. Oh I God. love them. It's, it's, uh, it's funny. Like, so let's go there because that's, that's an interesting one. I love being at the shows. I love, um, reconnecting with people that I know, meeting all these new people. Um, it's a mindset though, right? Like, when you go to the show, you literally, you can literally meet like a thousand people, a couple oh, thousand eat. people, right? Um, and so, so I almost like you, you have to get geared up for these shows. Like you, you really, usually when I, like I actually, my favorite thing to do is to go to these shows and then I usually leave, particularly when they're on the West coast, I leave on the red eye because yeah. I'm so exhausted that I literally, I don't remember. I get on the plane and we haven't left the tarmac. I'm sleeping. Like I'm sleeping yeah. all the way back. Right. Cause I'm just so exhausted from being, you know, kind of that on, um, it's a great you know. feeling. Yeah, but I love it. It's, I love it so it's a great tire. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's such a good way. You know what, what? I guess, and it's hard for me because I can't get the buyer out of me. So, like, even when I go to, like, this weekend show at Expo, yeah. it's a, it's the hunt that's fun. Yeah. You're, you're looking for what's cool, what's new. Where's the market going? What do we think is going to happen? Is gluten-free still relevant or is it yeah. just mainstream now? Like, what's yeah. the next What's yeah. the next, you know, What's the next big thing? What's the next probiotic, or yeah. what is it? There is it vitamin C again, <laughs> you know, or is it going to be some honey from the, you yeah. know, mountains in Peru, or I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just, a, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You really, I, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Yeah, <clears throat> thoroughly enjoy it. Um, do you have any? Uh, I'm looking forward to. That. Do you have any tips for people on just surviving the show? So forget the booth, forget all that stuff for a second. Um, you're either walking or standing for three, two, three days, right? Um, do you have any, like, do you have any tips on like how you survive walking around for two days through either, you know, these Chinese shows and all that kind of stuff? Like it's all the same stupid things. Yeah. Get, get, get good, ugly shoes. Yeah. It's not a fashion yeah. show. Yeah. Right. The yeah. show you're, you're, you're working, be comfortable, drink a crap load of water. And quite frankly, and this is one thing I, I, I tell people more than anything outside of those things, be engaged. You're here. Do something. I've walked by so many booths and, and people don't look at you, don't want to talk to you. And then I've walked with buyers that aren't interested in talking to the to the booths. What are you here for? What's the point? Yeah. Learn something. Yeah. You know, ask 12 people. If you don't get it, then come to your booth and, you know, reevaluate. Maybe it's your approach. Learn yeah. something from this yeah like rotate you know if you're not getting success ask ask your ask the booth beside you hey
hey, is it me? Is it the product? Like, what yeah. is it? But learn something. Yeah. I, I, honestly, just get engaged. Yeah. But water and shoes, critical, but be engaged. <laughs> there's, I, there's nothing that frustrates me more than going to shows and looking at buyers or vendors yeah. that, that basically you're thinking, go home. Yeah. You're, you're frustrating. I don't I have nothing to do with you, but you're frustrating me here because I don't even want to look at you because you're not into being here. Yeah. If you don't want to be here, go somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. They are so much fun and such a great way to meet people, great way to learn things, yeah. ask a million questions, look at someone's packaging, ask how they got there, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and walk a show. If you're going to do a show, try not to do it on your own. Bring a buddy or somebody for at least a portion of it. So you get away from the booth, yeah. walk the show, yeah. see yeah. what other people are doing, yeah. see if your product or similar is out there, see how they're selling it or not selling it, right? It's an educational format. I mean, shows are just awesome that way. Yeah, I love it. <clears throat> the only things I would add to yours is uh, bring hand sanitizer. Uh, so I always yeah. bring hand <laughs> sanitizer because you shake hands everywhere. So, Guaranteed. like, you, you kind of have to take on a bit of a klepto. No, what's the what's the phobia for, for um, yeah. doesn't matter. Whatever it is. is going to be Howie just, Mandel. Don't touch anybody. Yeah, don't touch anybody. But you have but, to touch but, some, but you gotta, Like, shake hands and then and then hand sanitize, for real, for real, right? For like, for otherwise, you're, you're never, you're going to get sick, like, for sure. Um, 100%. Yeah, and then bring uh, breath mints because trade yeah. shows are notorious for the worst. <clears throat> like, you just... Um, the sheer number of people means that you don't get to pick what you eat for lunch or if you get to eat at all. And so usually whatever you eat is going to make you smell and funny. And coffee's notorious yeah. for that. It's yeah. just, so yeah, breath mints totally. is the other key. And then, totally. and then the, the thing I tell newbies is when you go, this is like a, this is like a LinkedIn thing. You don't, I always tell them like, look at everybody's name tags. Like the reason you have name tags is to look at them, right? Because everyone tries to be so polite do you find that like people are polite and they try not to look at your name tags? And I always say, no, look at the name tag. Like they're there for a reason. So if you look at the name tag and you see retailer and you want to talk to them, you should go talk to them, right? Like that's what the show is for, which is right along the lines of what you were saying, right? Is like you, you just got to get involved and like get in there, right? The worst that happens is they go, I don't really want to be here and I don't want to talk to you. Great. All right. So move along. And then I, I didn't, I'm no worse for wear, but you manage to talk to a buyer, you manage to figure something out, then you're ahead of where you were five minutes ago. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, seriously, yeah. if you, I, it's the same thing. If you're going to be there, be there. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. stay home. Yeah. Because you're wasting your money and you're wasting your time. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that for the, you know, for, I'm not talking just to the vendors that are going. Like you said, I mean, I've had, I, I, there's buyers. I thought, why are you, yeah. why, why are you wasting your company's money or wasting, you're just wasting everybody's time. Don't be here. If it's, this is that dreadful, find something else to do. I um, I went with a bunch of buyers, and they all – buyers have this thing, right? Like the ones that don't want to be found, they, they flip their tags around or they crumple them up so you can't see. And they were all mortified because I never did that, right? I always hung my tag, and they're like, why? And I go, because the worst that happens is I, I get vendors who – don't mean anything to my business. And I can tell them, like, you sell toys. I don't buy toys. Oh, toy buyers. So there's no reason I'm going to stop and talk to you, and I'm not going to waste your time, and you're not going to waste mine. But hopefully along the show, somebody finds me that I'm not paying attention to that goes, listen, I have something that you absolutely have to see, right? And then yeah. I – and like every show, without a doubt, I would find something that you go, oh, my God, I'm, I'm so glad that guy stopped me because I, I never would have stopped there, you know? Um, yeah, I think it's really, I, I, I totally agree with you. I, 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 again, it just comes really back to engagement. Yeah. So once you get all the mechanics, the shoes, the Perel and, yeah. you know, vitamin C is a good thing to have oh, if you yeah. got it, you know, yeah. like NRC or something like that. Yeah. Cause I don't want to support Pfizer. We'll support Richard at NRC. <laughs> better product. <laughs> Pfizer doesn't need our money. Support little money. guys. Yeah. Support the little guys. Yeah. Yeah. If you got, because that stuff's critical. But yeah. after that, you've got to be engaged. Yeah, you're there. You're 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 wasting time otherwise. Yeah, they take advantage of it. Yeah. the shit you can learn at a trade show. Yeah, is ridiculous. And if you're a buyer, I don't give a shit if you buy anything. Yeah, you're gonna find <clears throat> a couple cool products, a couple cool ideas, 
a couple planogram change, like something's going to trigger yeah. that you're going to get stoked and get back to the office. Yeah. Or if you're a vendor, you're going to go back and say, wow, that guy's packaging was yeah. awesome. Okay. You know what you guys, let's talk about ours. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I love it. I love it. Um, that's our story, Phil, before I go, yeah. but we talked about, um, at almost all the shows, government is there. Okay. Typically okay. the federal, um, and provincial where you can actually talk to uh, like for the food shows, really? the ministries are there. So you can okay. talk grants or they'll direct you. Right. Which is a great way to do right? Cause the government Absolutely. websites are kind of an atrocity to. Well, they're hard to do. Through, they're so. intimidating. They're yeah. scary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to give you an example for ours even, and it's not because we're not, well, we're not maybe, re we're relatively bright. We're not the brightest. We're not, we yeah. actually hired somebody who'd already yeah. done it from the industry. Oh. And so listen, you know what? Okay. I can either do this and spend 50 hours, Yeah. you know, or I can pay you Yeah. to do it for That's me. And it's going to be yeah. less for me to pay you in a sense, because this person, instead of 50 hours, probably going to do 20. Yeah. I'll pay him for 50. Yeah. But it's not my 50 at that point. I'm doing other things that I can do yeah. better than this. Yeah, yeah. But it's, again, one of those things where a broker could be there or um, a quasi-consultant where you may say, well, listen, I don't know how to do that. Listen, guy, don't worry about it. Here's a guy. Yeah, here's a guy. It's, you know, well, it's the you show. Where you, I know a guy. <laughs> it's one of those shows. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, the other thing I want to ask you, so one thing that I get a lot, and I tell brands this as well, is, the one thing to remember is if you're running a booth and you're meeting buyers, you have to find a way to make yourself memorable, right? Because that, that buyer is walking, I don't know, like the, we were talking about pets at the beginning of the show, like the global pet show is something like seven miles long or I don't know, something stupid. No, well, seven, seven football 30, fields 100. or something like that, right? Like So like hundreds of thousands of booths, how do you – what's the neatest thing that you've seen to kind of help you remember – um, who they are. The one that I thought, um, there's two that I thought were really cool. One I think would be like a social nightmare if everybody did it, but um, one brand that I met was taking selfies. So they create like a really cool, you know, almost like a, um, uh, like a social media thing, you know, like take your picture here and then you can hashtag it and, you know, like a picture frame or something. Know. Yeah, and, I don't mind. And they would do that with the buyers because then that puts you in the same spot with the buyer. It prompts the buyer to give you an email address so that you can send them the picture, um, which gives you a way to follow up, right? Because you can send the picture later. You can, you know, and then you have proof that, hey, you actually talked to me. So whether you remember me or not, you, you know, I was worthy yeah. to take a picture with, <laughs> right? So. I, I, I haven't seen that. Yeah. I don't mind the idea. Yeah. I don't, yeah, that's... um. It's tough. Like, I mean, um, really tough. Oh, boy, boy, that's a yeah. good question. Yeah, because like brands, I mean, brands will do things like swag and stuff like that, right? So if you hit the but right get, swag item, people come and get it. Yeah, but you know what? But like, okay, it's, but it's by the fiftieth booth, money. I got a yeah. bag that I'm gonna leave in the aisle because I'm not yeah. carrying this ticket anymore. Yeah. I don't want anything. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I think again, I think well, then if you're not gonna have the memorable um, trip, yeah, really and truly, everybody you talk to. Take a picture of the or ask them. Yeah. Say, listen, would you mind? To, don't have to take a picture of them. Yeah. Take a picture of the badge. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Take a picture of the business card, but get it, it's it's the you know it's the ABC always be closing. Yeah. You've got to you've got to you know if they stop, there is something there that's intriguing them. Yeah. Don't let them get away with you out having yeah. something. Yeah. Selfies, yeah. yeah, maybe maybe not as a. Fire, I probably would have told you to pounce that unless you know <laughs> it was something fun and whatever. But if you wanted yeah. to take a picture of my badge, yeah, I yeah. don't care. Yeah, you know, really sure, whatever. Yeah, right. And then at that point, I would do the same thing you said. So listen, you can take a picture all day. I'm not the right buyer. Yeah, I'm not, it's not my category. Yeah, right. Or if it was something, I'd say, you know what? Yeah, do that because I don't right now. I'm not in the mindset. Yeah. But if you bug me, yeah, maybe I stopped. Obviously, something intriguing. Yeah, that's a good. You know, engagement, like, buddy. Just, just be yeah. engaged. My yeah. God. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I mean, so so this is the topic we we wanted to cover this because uh, we are rolling into the season. You've got like 
you've got CHFA coming up, you've got this wellness show, you've got uh, Natural Expo West, the West you've, got um, pets. you've got Global Pets coming up, uh, National Sporting Goods is coming up in May, you've got uh, Cosmoprof coming up in May as well, I think. Um, and I, like, yeah. I've, I've probably missed like a whole bunch. I think there's a toy show coming up. There's another magic, um, <laughs> show coming up. Oh, toy shows now. Yeah. Um, toy show. No, toy show's not now. Toy show was last did it go? Week. Yeah. Yeah. Toy so, show might be ending today. So we're kind of in the throes yeah. of trade show season. So if you're a little brand and, uh, so, so a couple of things here. One is, um, if we missed a notable show, let us know, um, ping us at, at, uh, this commerce life at gmail.com or, or this commerce life on Twitter. Um, or, or session. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've been enough shows to probably tell you a couple that might make sense for your business. Yeah. Uh, that was the other thing is like, I think if you are trying to figure this one out, definitely come and see us or, or ping us because we, we can help you with this. All right. That's the end of this commerce life. We'll be back soon with the next episode thank you for joining us we hope you enjoyed it uh give us feedback tell us what you think subscribe like us join us share us tell your friends about us and uh we hope to see you next time with uh with more commerce news